thickness has finally arrived for Afro House. This past month, I've been working on an Afro House serum sound set for you guys. Now, I didn't want to do it in a thin and brittle way. I wanted to provide thickness. And what that means is that we use proper sound design theory to make fat bass lines that aren't overcomplicated and make you sound lifeless and hollow. And also utilizing the serum engine to mix with the EQ, with the compressor, and use valid mixing techniques to give you guys sounds that you will probably go like, are you processing that? And if someone ever asks you that and you're using evil sounds, you're going to go, no, it's just the way it comes. If you're a beginner, you will sound professional instantly and you'll be able to learn from the programming. And if you're a professional, then this will save you a bunch of time and it will also inspire you because you know just that one sound, maybe one of the leads, can lead you down a path that leads to some of your best work. And as a sound designer, it's in my best interest for you to make your best music because if you're using my sounds doing that like the professionals do, I know you will always come back and trust my sound the same work. And here we have the first one called BA Adore You. Okay, now the idea of the mods is this. Let's say we're playing. And then you get that. Now you bring it back here. And you evolve the sound, but at the same time, it's also there to give you ideas on maybe other stuff you can do. As a sound designer has been doing this for about 10 years, I know a way that I can get music producers to make the best music is by giving them ideas, things to make the brain make connections. Because if you hear this, you might go, oh, I like the rhythm of that. And you might go find another sound or you might use this sound and just bring the mod up, right? I've also added a bit of texture into some of these. I don't know if you can hear it with this one, but it's there. <laughs> it's there. I mean, if you <laughs> yeah, you can control the volume. Bring it up. It's one. Very nice. Let's get that. Control the tone. Let's FM it a bit. Look at that. Oh, that one's dope. And then we can add the chorus to make it like. You are mine. You're the boy that's mine. Okay, let's let's get let's get to the Here we go. So a lot of these patches have a mod view. Check it. So you can evolve the sound with the mod view if you have a MIDI keyboard. Now, if you can have all four mods routed to individual things on your MIDI keyboard, even better as that's going to give you the best way to express yourself. Just add variation to the lead. So that's what I did there. I'm playing. Okay, I like these mods here because it has these noises that Afro House has. Let's add some like 
Again, I'm just playing with the mods. You can increase the speed of that. So that's beautiful there, because now... And again, that little dee -dee 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 arp around, you can turn that down if you want, or you could have it up. It's just there to kind of add that texture when it's needed, so... That's nice. Oh, yeah. You can drift it. You can add a bit of a tag. Mod it. Okay. So nice. Plucky it. There it is. Really nice. I hope someone can use that in a song. It'd be amazing, bro. <laughs> and again, I'm saving that because the volume on that. That was a little too loud. Oh, oh, this is good. I'm in love. Set some vinyl. Yes, baby. Sexy. These sounds are a little hard. We can get rid of the vinyl of Nina. Whoa, my voicing's off. But it's a really nice sound. Delay it. There we go. Length. Play with it. It will work for some. Others will want it shorter. Oh, let's get it. Oh, yeah. Have the Afro House noise hits. If you know, you know. They like to use these a lot. And I want to say I was, I was first to use this. That's <laughs> good. It's really good for transitioning, but also just to kind of use for choo, 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 super dope. All right, so now we get to probably the pack, part of the pack that everyone wants to see, which is the leads. The leads is where a lot of the work went into the pack, mainly because all the other stuff like the bass lines and the chords, I feel are like easy to get, right? The roads, the et cetera, right? But the leads is what I usually get asked about when it comes to Afro House. So there's going to be a combination of saw leads and botanical leads. A long time ago, I bought this pack for uh, Zebra 2. This was like actually 13 years, 14 years ago, where a lot of the techniques I'm using for the botanical stuff came from, like using comb filter. It's funny how it goes around in full circle. I haven't used that knowledge in a while, but now that Afro House is here, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Keep in mind, the velocity will be routed to things like this one's routed to the, uh, the cutoff of the filter. So just make sure if you're low velocity and you're playing and nothing's coming out, increase the velocity, enable to new press B for that. And work your way up and down. But from there, I like this mod. Add a bit of comb. This is very botanical. Oh, yeah. Maybe you need something in the background? Use that. One. Okay, so we got one of those leads. I love this one. It's just essentially noise running into the filter. Very high resonance self oscillates the filter. And then we add the sign layer. 
Sonic inspired. This is probably some of the harder leads to make, even though they sound very basic, right? There's a lot that goes into making them sound this way. Here we have one called Brass King. This is like the iconic. Velocity does a lot. The more I hit the note hard, the more it plays. So you can create a lot of emotion. Don't forget the module as well. Okay, so let's play some. Okay, of course we have some mods we can increase. black coffee one and it's probably what most people will kind of refer to as the afro house lead but again what makes these leads come to life is the way that they're evolving during the song so for instance i could have i think this one's e we could do a lot Look at that. I like this one. This is my attempt at being unique. So there's recreations in the past. Once I understand the theory of a lot of these sounds, what I try to do is I try to make some stuff that sounds a little more unique. So this one's really dope. So again, a lot of these tracks are just playing one note. So that's why we're just doing that there. Here we have one that's really nice. Now we get that. Beautiful. Then we can lower down the noise FM. I think it adds that like nastiness to the lead there. And let's lower down the this. There we go. That's beautiful there. So now we're just going to save that to fix it. There we go. Boom. So lead dirty fun. Here we have one called Famax inspired by Rafa Guido. It has this insane slap delay though. I love this slap. I like this one. It's one of those leads, um, like Melbourne, -y, but like again, you just play like a very, like kind of like Suna melody. I like this mod a lot because it creates a lot of movement, a lot of tremolo. It's climax it. Oh yeah. OG that inspired that sound though. Called Fruta Fresca. Oh yeah. Just again for ear candy. Let's hold the note down. Got a nice little rhythm. Climax it. We get that nice little layer to it. 
Right here, here. This is probably like the one that I really definitely wanted to get in the pack. There's a couple in here, um, but this is one because I've heard most of the remakes and the remakes are cool, but it, it, it always lacks that. Just, you know, like Serum gets a bad rap sometimes because they say it's lifeless. But the problem with Serum is you have to program it very heavily. So this is why you see all these modulations. It's, it's because we need to program it in a way where it sounds alive. You know, I'm just playing the note harder. and But you can see how good it sounds. Like... We can get these nice wubs to it. And there you go. Look at that. I wanted to add the summer vibes when I heard it on Beatport and I hadn't heard anything like it. And in my quest to make some unique Afro House leads. <laughs> This one's pretty interesting. It's a little warmer. That just means not a lot of highs, but it sounds dope. You can add the highs in if you want, but you lose a little bit of that nice flavor that the original or the inspiration had. For this one, I really wanted to remake this lead. Wait up. <laughs> so we made it. We can also use the experimental here to create a very nasty. Lead, um, which I find very unique. Halfway mark. Got a nice combination of both. And then you have a wide layer. Here it comes with the ear candy. Anyways, uh, with this sound, again, this is a good example. There's some remakes out there where I'm like, uh, um, but it's all about the emotion. You know, the Afro House sound design is not hard, but it's the way these leads are just so alive that really adds to the separation of the people that have been doing it for a while and the people that are getting into it. So again, the hardest thing was just bringing these saw leads in essence to life. That's where I found a lot of the difficulty. From there, we got the pads. Lower the volume a bit. Can thin it out. This is my probably my favorite one because it's black coffee inspired. It's very Juno mellowish. Hold up, hold up. By the way, if you see that some of them say evil sounds and all this, these are just wavetables I've created over time, sampling some of the Moog synthesizers I have. And because they just sound different when you when you're running the wavetables from them. The shape and everything. Serum just makes the saw sound a little warmer. So that's why we use it. So here we have this one saw to super saw for the movement. We can open it. And really just, again, it's really alive. Move this down. Get the lead. If you want a lead, it's there. Now the plugs will contain also leads. So again, I know the naming's a little weird and stuff, but bear with me, okay? <laughs> But these are you the ones that are, you just play one note with. But again. No, you can do ARPs with them. You can do a lot with them. Nice little ARP lead. Good for like just ear candy. Yeah. You can make stuff that sounds beautiful with. My milkshake brings out a...
I'm sorry, guys. I just want to hit one note. You know, essentially, I was trying to make a piano, but it just didn't really sound right. Can't play those nice chords with it, but there it is. You can reverse the piano and get some interesting sounds. It's a little quiet, but it's very abstract. Just an idea. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Nice square plug. Put the module up. Top track. Let's go! And there we go. We got some. It feels good to finally be done with this pack, guys. And I hope that you found some of the sounds inspiring and hopefully one of the missing links to get that sound that you've been looking for. Again, your success is my success. So I always try and give you guys the best sounds I possibly can. But I hope that some of these sounds spoke to you. And if they did and you want to support the pack, you can find it over at evilsounds.com. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And thank you guys so much for the support you have given me for this past decade.